What's up guys? On this week's episode, Jeff is up to bat and we are heading back turkey hunting. With me already filling one tag this year, I told Jeff to come on down and let's see if you can punch a tag at one of my favorite spots. This particular piece of property is right across from my family farm. You know, I've been hunting this spot for a long time. There's always a good amount of birds in the area. So we headed out a couple days prior and did some scouting. These birds did split up from their winter roost. You know, we know where they're roosting now and on the first sit, um, turned out to be an awesome hunt. And the second spot we're going to is one of Jeff's favorite pieces of property to hunt. You know, he's been hunting this spot since he's been a kid as well. And you know, Jeff is on a roll this year. I forgot to mention him and one of our good buddies, Taylor, went out a couple weeks prior and Jeff did put a bird down. So like I said, Jeff is on a roll and he's hoping to keep the streak going. All right guys, we are at the spot me and Jeff sat on Sunday night. It is currently Thursday night and we are going to roost some birds just to the south of here. We're gonna sit there in the morning, but we come over and check these birds and sure enough, they're all strutting down in this, this bean field right south of the roost trees where we uh, snuck in on Sunday and they're working their way north. But There's three toms and one Jake strutting. Those toms are, uh, look like they're pretty aggressive. Their heads are really red, so. We'll definitely be back at this spot in the next two weeks. But it's pretty cool to see. It's a good Friday. We are hunting the evening. We had a good morning hunt. <clears throat> We're out here just north of our morning location spot on a, a new group of birds that we were watching the night before, last night actually. Watched them go up into the roost here. Just in the timber out of the bean field is where we're at. Just brushed in a, a ground blind. Decoys are out at about 15 yards. And the turkeys have been out in the bean field and then coming in and we're actually sitting right underneath their roost, so you know it should it should happen tonight. The birds aren't spooked, they're relaxed, they haven't been worked at all yet this year. So we're hoping everything goes right and they come right into our laps, get some good footage and put a bird down and possibly Jake or uh Josh gets on another one, so Jake. double double down. <laughs> Jake. Yep, Jake.
you've seen that right, four times, 10 yards, and all Jeff and I are thinking is, wow, we completely blew this situation. You know what happened so quick? They came in right to the decoys. I mean, you couldn't have drawn it up any better. The only thing we could have done different is when they were coming in, is if Jeff could have got drawn back when they were behind one of the trees. So they get to the decoys, it's dead quiet down in that bottom, and we're just pretty much waiting for one of those toms to um, turn its back towards us and beat up that Jake decoy. Well, that didn't happen, and I think one of the birds knew something was up, so they kind of slowly turned to the south and headed out in that bean field. Well, I'm thinking they're coming back, and sure enough, they didn't, but there was more birds coming. this well ever before and at this closer range we had four toms come in I mean they came in fast and I was just gonna let them work you know get some film instead of just shoot them right away I guess um, so I went to pull back on them and they left right away didn't get a shot but then we had two more toms come in with a lot of hens and one tom came straight up to our de decoys and just started strutting around and I thought I got a good, it feels good. I got a good placed arrow right on his wing bone. And he did a flip in the air and he ran. And the last we saw him, he looked kind of to be limping about 15, 20 yards away. And then we couldn't see him, but man, it was a rush. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think he's down, it felt good, but we still got the four toms strutting around out here and the ones that ran off are right behind us, so. Haven't got out and checked yet, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. Dude, that's him right there. He's down. He's down. I knew he did. I knew he was dead. They're all roosting. They're all roosting. Look at this. Look at this. Well, we got it done. We came in here. We roosted these birds last night. We knew they were gonna be pitching here. We came in, got a ground blind brushed in right behind us, pretty much right underneath their roost. And I can't get over this. The coolest thing is these turkeys are roosted right above us right now. So cool, but got a good shot on him. He took off running, took, kind of gave us some mixed feelings. Didn't know if we actually got him, but uh, here he is, 20 yards away, laying here. Couldn't see where he went down in the film. But yeah, happy. It was an exciting hunt. Yeah, 
I don't see any strutters. I'm sure there's one or two there. There's about six turkeys out here in this disked up field. And they should be working to the northeast right to our blind. They're probably 300, 400 yards from the blind right now. So now the idea is to sneak in. So we just scaled that, that bluff line. That was awesome. Um, I'm sweating pretty good. Got a good heart heart pump going. So anyway, we got in here, we got, got in the blind, got it brushed in a little better, got the decoys out, and we got a hen working towards us right now. She come up the bluff as well. Usually they, the toms, the group of them, they come from the east, coming west to pitch into the roost. So we could have action from any way, but um, just gotta hang tight and and hope they come in. We're actually gonna readjust our decoy setup if this hen moves off or gives us a chance, but now we just wait. There they are.
can't tell what we got. See him on the right to the right of the house on the green grass. They're chasing each other a little bit, but I think they're hens. All right guys, um, we're set up on the blind here. It's Saturday evening, it's probably about 60 degrees. I don't know, 20, 25 mile an hour winds. Um, cooler, cloudy. Turkeys aren't really talking. We got a lot of hens making commotion down below us. We're on the, the bluff line here. So getting a little impatient and we're gonna kind of bring the party to them. So we're gonna head down this little ravine here scoot down the side of the bluff and then work through the trees. We got kind of a two path trail and then it kind of comes up on a hill down into a little meadow area. So I think we got some landscape to work with and get in on a shot. So we got them clucking down here and we got some gobbles going. So we're gonna go see what we can find. Hey, we got blood right here. A lot of blood, actually. Dude, he's down. He's down. How about that for a spawn stock, baby? Yes. Yeah, he's right down there. There we are, number three for Nebraska. Third tag, third turkey. On my favorite place to hunt, actually, where I started hunting for my, my dad took me and got me into the outdoors, so it's a special place for me to hunt birds every year. Um, so very glad we got it done. We actually were sitting straight above us on the bluff here, and it's just a not a good spring for turkey hunting. I mean, we've had our days, but today is just cloudy, windy, cooler. I mean, it's supposed to get down to 38 tonight. It's the middle of May, and we're sitting in the blind for about an hour, and no action. We hear a lot of hens down here. There's actually a hen behind us now, but um, yeah, we just hear them down here. And we're like, let's bring the party to them. 